Hi there and welcome to WCMU's Quiz Central. Our teams tonight are Whittemore Prescott and Onekama, so don't go away. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Good luck to both of our teams. Let's play Quiz Central. Chopin. Correct. All right, your next toss up. The lottery. Right. The stranger. You are correct. Traverse City Central hangs on. They are our season champions. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to Quiz Central. I'm your host, Steve Smith, and our teams tonight are Whittemore Prescott and Onekama. They are two of 48 teams competing again this year. The Quiz Central teams are divided into four divisions based on school size. Each division will have a champion, and one of those teams will become this season's overall winner. We have scholarships from Central Michigan University as prizes. Rick Westover has more on that. The four starters and three alternates of the division championship teams will each receive a two-year, $4,000 room and board scholarship from Central Michigan University Residence Life. In addition, four lucky Quiz Central seniors will receive textbook scholarships from the CMU Bookstore. And a special thanks to CMU Enrollment and Student Services, which provides lunch for our contestants and their traveling party. And with that, let's put the teams to work with the Maroon and Gold Round. The Maroon and Gold Round gives you two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. If the team ringing in misses the question, the opposing team will have a chance to respond. There is no talking among team members, and correct answers are worth 10 points. Good luck to both of our teams. Here is your first question. What physicist names very short units of time and length defined using his namesake constant, which relates a photon's energy and frequency. Next question. What novel in which Nancy is killed by her boyfriend Bill Sykes is a work by Charles Dickens whose title orphan meets the artful dodger? Ryan Onekama. Oliver Twist. That's correct. In June 2019, what country's deposed president, Mohamed Morsi, died while being tried for espionage? Next question. What Beverly Cleary title character, a friend of Beezus Quimby, owns a cat named Nosy and a dog named Ribsy? Uh, Brianna Onekama? Ramona? Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Whittemore Prescott. We'll get you an answer in just a minute. What landform with a five letter name often forms on the rim of an extinct seamount, typically encircles a lagoon and? Kevin Whittemore Prescott. An atoll. That's correct. What country's government opposed the Shining Path Revolutionary Group during the presidency of Alberto Fujimori? Kevin Whittemore Prescott. Japan. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Onekama? Okay. Next question. What 2019 film in which a fading actor named Rick Dalton lives next to Sharon Tate stars Leonardo DiCaprio and was directed by Quentin Tarantino? Ryan Onekama. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's correct. Lord Castlereagh represented Britain at what international congress arranged by Clemens von Metternich to shape a post-Napoleonic Europe? Next question. What job did the Cyclopes perform beneath Mount Etna while working for Hephaestus? Ryan Onekama. Forging? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Whittemore Prescott. Sorry, we, the bell rang just as we went. Okay, actually, you can answer, Stuart. Uh, stoking the fire? You're close. It's blacksmith, but we can't accept that. So blacksmith was the answer. All right, so we have a 20 to 10 game. Onekama has a 10-point lead. The questions that were missed, the country's government opposed to the Shining Path Revolutionary Group was Peru. Uh, the physicist was Max Planck. The country's deposed president, Mohamed Morsi, died while being tried for espionage in Egypt. Beverly Cleary's title character, Henry Huggins, was the answer. And let's see here, uh, Lord Castlereagh represented Britain at the Congress of Vienna. So again, we have a 20 to 10 score, and it's a chance now to get to know our teams just a little bit better. We'll turn to Whittemore Prescott first, and Kevin. 
My name is Kevin Builder. I'm a sophomore at WP and I'm on the student council. My name is Kylie Builder. I'm a sophomore at WP and I play volleyball, basketball, and run track. My name is Stuart Limbaugh. I'm a sophomore, it's a senior at WP and I'm on NHS. My name is Anna Butler. I'm a freshman at WP. I play volleyball, basketball, and I run track. All right, nice having you here. The uh, alternates for Whittemore Prescott are Brielle Wanks and Luke Mervin. The team's coach is Dave Mervin. Let's give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> and now we turn to Onekama. Hi there, Allie. Hi, my name is Allie Torrey, and I'm a senior at Onekama, and I dance, and I'm in student council. I'm Jackson Gutowski. I'm a senior at Onekama, and I'm on the golf team in NHS. Uh, I'm Brianna Schneider. I'm a sophomore in Onekama, and I'm planning to go to Michigan State University. I'm Ryan. I'm a freshman in Onekama, and I like writing, and I'm my class treasure. All right. Great to have you here. The alternate for Onekama is Colin Cook, and they're co coached by Matthew Lon. Let's give them a nice round of applause. And with that, we jump right back into the action with the kickoff round. The kickoff round is a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. The team that correctly answers the toss-up question will be asked a bonus. Then we go back to a toss-up question for both teams. Toss-up questions need an individual response, but team members can consult on the bonus. Captains, remember that the answers must come from you on the bonuses unless you defer to a colleague. Here is your first toss-up question. What single word that names treatises by both Rene Descartes and Isaac Newton refers to the study of reflection and other properties of light? The answer there is optics. Your next toss-up question. The comedy podcast, My Brother, My Brother and Me, is hosted by three brothers with what surname? Brianna Onekama. McElroy. That is correct, and here is your first bonus of the game. What wealthy landowner loses an eye during a fight, fire at Thornfield Hall and weds the title character at the end of Charlotte Bronte's novel, Jane Eyre? Need an answer? Pass. Okay, Mr. Rochester is the actual answer. Your next toss-up question for both teams. What Republican president who championed the new look policy defeated Adlai Stevenson in two elections and led the U.S. for most of the 1950s? And that would have been uh, Dwight Eisenhower. Another toss-up. What nucleobase joins adenine, cysteine, and guanine in RNA but not DNA? Jackson Onekama. Here is so. That's right. And here's your bonus. What African country contains the source of the Blue Nile and is governed from Addis Ababa? Ethiopia. Ethiopia. You are right. Back to both teams. The Cold War period of detente fell during the tenure of what Soviet leader who succeeded Nikita Khrushchev in 1964? Stuart Whittemore Prescott. Stalin. Nope. Sorry. Incorrect. Onekama. Correct answer was Leonid Brezhnev. Your next toss-up question. What class of self-similar figures includes the Serpinski Triangle and the Koch Snowflake and has a name coined by Benoit Mendelbrot? Answer there, fractals. Next toss-up. What Gannett newspaper, whose original logo was a blue and white globe, dubs itself the nation's newspaper? And that would be USA Today. The first special advisor to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is a senator from Massachusetts. Who is that person? That person is Elizabeth Warren. All right, what Argentinian shooting guard who won four championships with the San Antonio Spurs? Jackson Onekama. Manu Ginobili. That's correct. And here is another toss-up question, or a bonus question, <laughs> rather, for Onekama. What NFL team, which was punished after the Bounty Gate scandal with a year-long suspension for coach Sean Payton, is led by quarterback Drew Brees? The New Orleans Saints. That's right. Both teams play on this one. What Caltech professor created a path integral formation of physics and created namesake diagrams that show the results of particle interactions? Richard Feynman is the man. Wit, uh, what entities that scatter light in the Tyndall effect consists of mixtures of small particles dispersed in a continuous phase and include milk? 
Answer, colloids. And that brings us to the end of our round. All right, Onekama makes a bit of a move here. We have a score of 70 to 10. We are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll see if either team can score a perfect 10. So don't go away. Preschool gives children the foundation they need to be successful in school and in life. But more than half of kids in the U.S. do not have the opportunity to attend a pre-K program, making them 25% more likely to drop out of school before graduation. The PBS Kids 24-7 channel provides quality programming, games, and hands-on activities that are proven to develop early learning skills. When you say the word PBS, immediately quality comes to mind. And not just quality, but a massive cultural diversity. Everybody here in the United States gets a look at a global culture, which is phenomenally presented. What makes PBS so strong is that it is a product of the support of the public. It stands out as a public service. It reaches out and grabs a nation and it grabs a world, and I think that's wonderful. Welcome back to Quiz Central and the Perfect 10 Round. The Perfect 10 Round gives you 60 seconds to answer 10 questions from your choice of clues to three categories. The opposing team gets 30 seconds to tackle all unasked, missed, or passed questions. Onekama has the lead, so Whittemore Prescott, you'll be going first. Today's clues to the categories are Acid Wash, What Do You Stand For, and Mother May I. Acid Wash, What Do You Stand For, and Mother May I. Which one will it be? Uh, we'll go with Mother May I. Mother May I. All right. And the actual category is mothers. Identify these people or things whose names include the word mother. Fictional avian author of nursery rhymes and fairy tales. Mother Goose. Yep. None who founded the Missionaries of Charity. Pass. <coughs> Pass. Okay. TV show on which Neil Patrick Harris plays Barney Stinson. How I Met Your Mother. Right. Hard material in Moloch's who also uh, are also called Nacre. Pass. Pass. All right. Device sought by Steppenwolf in the film Justice League. Pass. Pass. Okay. Common two-word name of the painting Arrangement in Gray and Black Number One. Pass. Three-word term for necessity in a phrase about creativity. Pass. Irish-American activist and namesake of a progressive magazine. Pass. 19, well, we won't get to the final two. All right, 30 seconds on the clock to Onekama. Identify these people or things whose names include the word mother. None who founded the Missionaries of Charity. Mother Teresa? Yes. Hard material in mollusks, also called nacre. Pass. Device sought by Steppenwolf in the film Justice League. Mothership. Mothership? Nope, sorry. Common two word name of the painting Arrangement in Gray and Black Number One. Pass. Three word term for necessity in a phrase about creativity. Pass. And we're out of time. Okay, let's go back and take a look at those there. A tough category, obviously. Hard material in mollusk is mother's, uh, mother of pearl. Device sought by Steppenwolf, mother box. The common two-word name of the painting arrangement in gray and black number one is Whistler's mother. Three, word term for necessity in a phrase about creativity, mother of invention. And let's see here, the Irish-American activist and namesake of a progressive magazine, Mother Jones. So those were the only questions that we got to there. But we have two categories left, and now it is Onekama's turn to uh, take their choice. We have remaining acid wash and what do you stand for? What do you stand for? What do you stand for? Okay. The actual category is acronyms. Given one of the letters in a commonly used acronym or initialism, give the word that the letter stands for. The P in ASAP. Possible. Yep. The I in the government organization CIA. Information. Intelligence. Yep. The U in UFO. Unidentified. Unidentified. Right. The A in scuba. 
Aquatic? No. The L in laser. Light. Light? Yep. The I in the mnemonic Roy G. Biv. Indigo. Indigo. Yeah. The, uh, correct. The first A in NASA. Aeronautics. Correct. The first R in radar. Pass. The second A in NAACP. American? Nope. And the L in Navy SEALs. League. League. League? Nope. Okay, those are the questions. So, Whittemore Prescott, you have uh, 30 seconds to uh, give us the, uh, the, the word that these letters stand for in an acronym. The A in SCUBA. Pass. Okay. The first R in radar. Radiation. Radiation. Nope. The second A in NAACP. Advancement. That's correct. The L in Navy SEALs. Land. Land. That's correct. All right. So the uh, questions that were missed, the A in SCUBA stands for apparatus, and the first R in radar stands for radio. Okay, so we're through our perfect 10 round there. Onekama holds on to their 140 to 50 lead over Whittemore Prescott. And what we turn to now is the home stretch. The home stretch is like round two. It's a combination of toss up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss up question. The team that answers correctly will be asked a bonus. And then, of course, we go back to a toss up question for both teams. Here is your first toss up question What second most populous Saudi Arabian city is the site of the proposed? Kingdom Tower, which would have become the world's largest or tallest building. Ryan Onekama. Mecca? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Whittemore Prescott. Answer was Jeddah. What author wrote about a land surveyor called Kay in his novel The Castle and depicted Gregor Samza's life as an insect in his novella The Metamorphosis? And that author is Franz Kafka. In 1991, what law professor accused Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment during his Supreme Court confirmation hearing? That was Anita Hill. What American author whose first novel was 1900's Sister Carrie wrote about the execution of Clyde Griffiths in his novel, An American Tragedy? Theodore Dreiser was the answer. The appeal of 18 June was delivered by what leader who founded his nation's fifth republic after having led free French forces during World War II? Charles de Gaulle was the correct answer. What is the largest possible chromatic number of a planar graph according to a theorem usually phrased in terms of coloring countries on a map? And that would be four. There will be a quiz after this. On May 19, 1910, Earth passed through the tail of what astronomical body, a comet that made its next recent approach of Earth in April 1986? Ryan Onekama. Halley's Comet. That's correct. Here's your bonus. In 1968, what man assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. while King was staying at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis? Pass. James Earl Ray was the assassin. What object, the search for which leads to the death of Detective Miles Archer, is a statue of a bird sought by Sam Spade in a Dashiell Hammett novel? The Maltese Falcon. What work, which is one of the four books of Confucian thought, consists of imagined discussions between Confucian, Confucius and his disciples? That's Analix. The Declaration of Sentiments was signed at what event organized by Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott, a women's rights conference in New York? And that was Seneca Falls. English artist Alfred Sisley belonged to what art movement, which also included the artist, the artist of the Haystacks and Water Lily series, Claude Monet? Impressionism? Kylie Whittemore Prescott. Impressionism? That's right. Here's your bonus. What song, whose chorus declares, will take a cup of kindness yet, was set down by a Scottish poet, Robert Burns, and is often sung on New Year's Eve? Pass. 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 Uh, it's old Lang Syne. All right, next toss-up question. 
The conservative syllabus of errors was issued in 1864 by the ninth pope to use what papal name, who was the longest serving pope in history? Kevin Whittemore Prescott. Francis. Nope, sorry, incorrect. How about Onekama? Ryan? Pious. That's correct. Here is a bonus. What god who bit the eyelid of a dwarf while in the form of a gadfly and was the father of Hell and Fenrir is a shape-shifting shape Norris trickster? Okay. That's correct. Back to both teams. No, we won't. We are going to take a break right there. Onekama holds on to a strong lead as we take a break, and we'll come back and we'll finish off our game with the final countdown, so don't go away. Our great state of Michigan is truly one of a kind. From the city streets to the small towns, you can see it all right here on Destination Michigan. We'll crisscross the state in search of the sights, the sounds, and of course, the people that make Michigan the greatest state in the land. Take in the scenery, meet the people, and experience the wonder of the Great Lakes State. Come along with us as we share your stories on Destination Michigan. Unlock your newest member benefit. Over 1,000 episodes of your favorite PBS shows. American Masters, Antiques Roadshow, Nature, Nova, Masterpiece. Watch the best of PBS anytime, anywhere. Become a member, sign in, and start streaming today. All right, this is it, the Quiz Central final countdown. Another two minute rapid player round. The first player to ring in gets a shot at answering the question. If you get it wrong, we turn to the opposing team for a chance to answer. Your first question, what economist exemplified the division of labor with the metaphor of a pin factory and coined the term invisible hand in the wealth of nations? Stuart Whittemore Prescott. Karl Marx. Nope, sorry, Onekama. We'll come back to that. In 2019, what Mexican drug, drug kingpin was sentenced to life plus 30 years in U.S. prison for drug, money laundering, and murder charges? Kevin Whittemore Prescott. El Chapo. Yes, that's correct. What city whose port of Dejima was for centuries the only Japanese port open to the West was the second city subjected to atomic bombing? Stuart Whittemore Prescott. Nagasaki. That's right. Ernest Hemingway created what quasi-autobiographical character who appears in such stories as Indian Camp and the Killers? Next question. What biologist who wrote River Out of Eden and the Blind Watchmaker introduced the word meme in the selfish gene and is a prominent atheist? Brianna Onekama. Charles Darwin. Nope, I'm sorry, incorrect. Whittemore Prescott. Next question. What two Greek letters are traditionally used in the formal definitions of limits and continuity? Next question. What river receives the Ticino River, empties into the Adriatic Sea south of Venice, and is the longest river in Italy? Moving on. What president, who began writing his book, The Naval War of 1812 at Harvard, sent the Great White Fleet to project U.S. naval power around the world? Okay. What first lady wrote the column, My Day, arranged for Marian Anderson to perform at the Lincoln Memorial and was married to a four-term president? Go ahead, Ryan. Roosevelt. Yes, you are correct. Okay. So it looks like uh, that brings our game to a close. Onekama brought a strong game with them today, uh, downing Whittemore Prescott. So a nice uh, round of applause for Onekama. Uh, the uh, president uh, that we were looking for was Roosevelt. The, um, the longest river in Italy is the Po River, the two Greek letters, Epsilon and Delta. Uh, Hemingway created the, uh, the quasi-autobiographical character, Nick Adams. The biologist who wrote River Out of Eden was Richard Dawkins, and the economist we were looking for was Adam Smith. But again, a good game. Let's give both teams a nice round of applause.
And that does it for another edition of Quiz Central. Until next time, like us on Facebook or watch your favorite game online as we feature the best and brightest high school students from around the state. Thanks for watching. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhlhalvy Event Center.